Go. Hello and welcome Sydney Business Inside readers. Today we have here with us Lance Schooler, we call him the Savvy Navigator, Master in Social Networking and Social Media. How are you today Lance? Great, thanks. Ellie, yourself? Well, thank That's you. Great. Today we're going to see here how social media can enhance your business. So Lance, what can social media do for businesses today? Well, it's a, a simple way to get out to the, uh, the marketplace with the message that you want to get out there. Mm -hmm. So just having a website today is not good enough. Um, yes, you can uh, Google keywords and search engine optimization. You can increase your ranking on Google. But using Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube, which this will be, yep. um, actually helps cross-fertilise different ways of people finding your website. So the more you have out there, the better chance you have of being found by the people looking for your type of business or service. I mean, we've seen what social media can do for society, bringing that interconnectedness together. We've seen what it can do for politics with the Iran elections in 2009 and the use of Twitter. For celebrities like Justin Bieber, who was discovered on YouTube, Correct. which was an article written by Lance in SBI. But is it really the future of where businesses will be in the future? Has it moved? Is recruitment moved to an online platform? It certainly has. Not that I'm recruiting there myself <laughs> uh, or seeking to be recruited, but a lot of recruitment HR companies are using LinkedIn yep. as a way of finding people rather than just advertising. They're trying to seek out people that they would see as uh, appropriate to their clients' positions. That they're, And so instead of advertising, they're trying to find those relevant candidates. I mean, we can use SBI as an example. Mm. What has SBI grown from? It's expanded in what way? What, what have you seen? So when I came aboard to help with the social media, I analysed what had happened up to a certain stage. Yeah. Um, as far as the Twitter following for the Sid Biz or Sydney Biz, um, it was about 600. And so what I had to do was say, okay, you're actually following 2,000, and there's a limit there on Twitter. Yep. That's a ceiling. Once you get past that, there's a number of followers you can actually uh, progress further. So I had to actually cull back to the 600 that of followers yep. uh, and following, so then I could start growing the following. So in the last uh, month or so, it's grown from 600 up to, I think it's a bit over 1,800 now. So once we get to, to 2,000, we'll be able to progress a lot further. Um, but I've done it in a very strategic way and also not over the top. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go ballistic, you can get into trouble. Mm -hmm. So I'm maintaining, uh, uh, what do you say, a conservative process of following people that will follow back mm -hmm. and there'll be a percentage that will and there'll be a percentage that won't. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've grown it and we've also, um, through that, we're picking up people making inquiries, but you're getting that now. People yeah, contact you, and um, and so the other thing we're doing is working with your LinkedIn profile. Yes, we've we've set it up. We're now going to enhance that yep. aggressively, and that will be another way where people will find SBI and find Ellie. Definitely. So all these things cross fertilize and, and bring a much better result for SBI. I mean, for personally, for me, for someone who is oblivious, and I'm sure to many others, to the power of social networking and social media, That's right. um, you know, we're enlightened by people like Lance. So thank you very much, Lance, for your time. Pleasure. And looking forward to hearing from you more. Great. Thanks. Thank you.